Please consult your primary care provider before the start of any exercise program. Please ease out of a pose if you feel any discomfort with the movements provided in the yoga program. Spinal twist can help improve spine flexibility as well as strengthen the muscles along your spine as well as in your core. So for this we'll be in a seated position, so wherever you are from standing from the last pose, safely and carefully make your way to a seated position either on the floor or in a chair. If you are in a chair, it can be a good idea to take a rolled up blanket or a cushion and place it in between your knees so that as we start rotating in the spine, your knees stay center and forward so that the rotation is really along the core. If you are on the floor, you can take some modifications that you may have tried in earlier poses, either sitting cross-legged or hips on heels with a rolled up towel or blanket under you or in between your hips and heels, if your hips on heels, as we see over there. So, to begin, we're going to inhale and lengthen the spine once again, lengthening all the way through the crown of the head, and then on the exhale, really feel yourself grounded into the floor or in the chair underneath you. On your next inhale, bring your hands out to a low V with your palms facing the floor, and breathe. On your next inhale, lengthen up. And on an exhale, rotate your V without narrowing over to the right. Doesn't need to be a big movement. So you're listening to your body and going as far as you need, exploring moderation in this pose. Once you've rotated over to the right, making sure your belly is contracted so your belly button is pulled towards your spine, lower your hands down so that your right hand is either grabbing a chair or reaching towards the floor, and that your left hand is on your right leg. Inhale, lengthen here, and on the exhale, slowly and gently rotate from the middle back, upper back, and if you'd like, you can bring your chin slightly towards that right shoulder. That is optional. You're not using your hands to wrench yourself over. This twist is happening internally using your core and spine muscles. So on an inhale, lengthen. And on the exhale, feel that rotation, that spiral you've created in the spine. And just breathe here for a few breaths. When you're ready, inhale, lift the arms into that low V once again. And on the exhale, untwist, coming back to center. Staying here, taking one more inhale. And on the exhale, bringing your low V over to the left this time. Rotating until you find a comfortable spot, not wrenching yourself over, and then lowering the hands down. This time your left hand will be reaching towards the floor or grabbing the chair, and your right hand will be on your left leg. Inhale, lengthen here, all the way through the crown of the head, and on the exhale, you can gently continue that spiral, that spinal rotation, making sure your belly button is pulled in to protect your spine and your low back. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, feeling that spiral, that gentle rotation, and if you'd like, bringing your chin over towards your left shoulder complete that rotation through the neck. Again, exploring moderation here. So finding something between effort and ease. We're not overexerting ourselves, but we are moving in a way that we're feeling our body working. When you're ready, inhale, those arms can come out to that low V once again. And on the exhale, they can rotate back to center. And on an exhale, they can come back down. Take a breath here. Notice if your spine feels any different or if your sides feel any different from before this pose. 